Structure is how a game presents and arranges its content for players to experience, and as with many things, there is no single method that fits all cases. Deciding what is and isn't optional and creating a system that effectively pilots the flow of gameplay can make all the difference for long-term enjoyment. Some games work better under different structures, but in a very general sense, they all seem to fall somewhere between linear and non nonlinear design. A linear structure typically ushers players along a restrictive and straightforward path, while nonlinearity gives players room to experiment and choose how or even what they play. There's nothing inherently wrong with either approach, but it is abundantly clear that most gamers value the freedom nonlinearity provides. Having options to play the game how they want can massively affect their engagement level, allowing them to forge a personal relationship with the game rather than simply going through the motions. If not properly tested, however, too many options can empower players to optimize the fun out of a game, and freedom goes too far when it enables skipping or missing certain elements required for progression or overall enjoyment. Nonlinearity is tough to implement, because it needs to account for all possible outcomes. The challenge is to ensure that any choice the player makes is the right choice, and remove any avenues that could result in a bad time. On the other hand, linearity gives game designers substantially more control over what players see and experience, licensing them to craft extra special and polished sequences that can have a profound effect. Though perhaps smaller in number, there are people who thrive off direction and purpose, and therefore appreciate a strict guiding hand, leaving no room to become lost or confused, so they can easily commit to the limited objectives in front of them. Linear design generally comes with greater clarity and focus. It sounds obvious, but the real trick with linear games is making sure that everything on the narrow road to completion is desirable and fun. Players should never question why they have to do something, instead looking forward with eagerness trusting that anything the game throws at them is worth their time. Sometimes an otherwise great game can buckle under a mismatched progression system or an unsatisfying gameplay loop, and conversely, some games are elevated by exceptional structure and pacing. As stated in a previous video on the topic, good pacing is important to retain interest, and structure is largely responsible for determining what is and isn't expected for completion. Gameplay should constantly be changing and evolving to keep things fresh, with fluctuating levels of intensity so players can feel a range of emotions, balancing moments of excitement with relaxing intervals for a quick breather. One interesting discussion point surrounding optionality is whether or not excess can ruin a game. It's common for developers to bloat their products with busy work in order to bolster potential playtime, which apparently is seen as attractive. But this kind of padding ultimately holds little or no value, and doesn't bode well for a lasting positive impression. Avoidable or not, it stands to reason that players should never be bored or frustrated and they certainly shouldn't have to sort through options and modes in order to find the good stuff, because ideally it should all be good. So while it may not be everyone's experience, the presence of bad or lackluster content does damage the overall package from a critical perspective. Building a compelling video game structure takes a keen sensibility of how the game manages players' time and energy, and a willingness to sacrifice features or restrictions for the sake of a better user experience. It is a program to showcase all the best mechanics and facets, thus relying heavily on prioritization and convenient quality of life options. It's something that should naturally blend into the background so that which is more important can be fully appreciated. If it promotes interactivity and consistent entertainment value, structure can be as loose or limiting as needed.